In this video, we are going to talk about interface segregation principle. Interface segregation principle says that many client specific interfaces are better than one general purpose interface. So, in our programming language, we use interfaces for multi inheritance. So, whenever in a class you want to inherit multiple functionalities from multiple interfaces, then you use interface, right? So, in interface, we will be declaring the methods but we will be defining it in our class where we are implementing that particular interface, right? So what interface segregation principle says, notice the word segregation. It says that many client specific interfaces are better than one general purpose interface. So when you are creating interface, instead of writing all your functionality into one single interface and then let all the classes implement all those functionality even though those classes does not require that functionality means that we should have multiple interfaces with specific functionality instead of one single interface with lot of functionality now let's try to understand why we need to use interface segregation principle. So as I said, segregation means keeping things separated. And interface segregation principle is about separating the interfaces. If you don't comply with this interface segregation principle, you will not get any problems. You won't run into any major bugs in your problem, but it would be really hard to maintain your code. So interface segregation says that instead of writing one single interface with lot of functionalities and then ask all your classes which are implementing that interface to implement all those functionality, even though that class does not require it, that is not correct. So what you should do is you should create specific interfaces you should create many interfaces and then let your class inherit the specific interface which is needed for that class now let's take some real world example let's say you're a vegetarian person and you go to a restaurant and they give you a menu and this menu has veg options and non-veg options as well so it would become very difficult for you to search for all the veg options in the non-veg options so even though this serves the purpose, but it would be very cluttered menu. So this vegetarian person would be much happier if he goes to a restaurant and they give them a separate veg menu, right? So this separate menu would be really good for this vegetarian person because they can now simply look into the menu and decide which item they want, right? And in the same way, the non-vegetarian person will have a separate menu for non-veg items. So they can easily go through all the items and select the item which they want to order. So this one, this cluttered menu is breaking our interface segregation principle, whereas this two separate menu is complying with our interface segregation. In the similar ways, when you're creating an interface for your client class, you have to make sure that instead of creating a cluttered interface, you should be creating a segregated interface, like multiple interfaces, so that it would be much easier for your specific client class. Now let's take another example and in this example we would be talking about the universal charger. So these universal chargers are very famous these days. This one charger will charge all of these like it will have type C, it will have lightning cable, it will have everything right. Though these are very good but this does not work in the long run. With interface segregation you will have different charging cable for different use. So these separate charging cables are in compliance with interface segregation whereas this clustered charger is breaking the interface segregation principle. Now let's look into code example to understand interface segregation principle. So let's say you have an interface called vehicle and then you want to include all the functionality of vehicle into this interface. So let's say for your vehicle interface you want to have functionalities like set price so you will be able to set price of your vehicle and then you want to have functionality of setting color of your vehicle and then you will have functionalities like start and stop the vehicle and you can have functionality like fly as well in your vehicle let's say for a vehicle like aeroplane you can fly your vehicle as well right so you can have fly functionality as well for your vehicle interface now this looks fine i mean the vehicle can have all these functionality and now let's say you want to create a class called car which implements from this vehicle interface so since it implements from this vehicle interface it should implement all these functionality into this car class so we will have a function to set the price which is fine 
for any card you will have to set price then we will have function to set the color which is also fine because you would want to set some color for your card as well and then you will have start and stop functionality but if you see a car cannot fly but since it is in the interface we will have to implement the fly functionality of our interface which would clearly break the interface segregation principle because this will not have any functionality in our car class and still it would be sitting here doing nothing in this class so how do we resolve this problem we resolve it using interface segregation means instead of having one interface we will be having multiple interfaces which would be relevant to the class which are implementing those interfaces. So let's create our interface segregation. So we'll create our interface like vehicle and in the vehicle interface we'll have only two functions set price and set color because all the vehicles will have price and color. So that is for sure. So we can have one interface for vehicle and then we can have another interface for movable so this interface would be for all the movable vehicle so you can have start and stop functionality and then we will have another interface which would be flyable so this interface would be for vehicle which can fly right so now we have our interface segregation and we can remove this one cluster interface now car can implement for vehicle because we need set price and set color and then it is a movable vehicle so we can implement from this movable interface as well but our class doesn't fly so we can simply remove this fly functionality because the fly functionality is in a different interface right now let's say you want to create another class for cycle right so for cycle we will create a class simply called cycle and then this cycle class can implement from our vehicle interface because cycle will have some price and cycle will have some color as well so we can simply implement this from the vehicle interface and since we are implementing from vehicle interface only we only need to implement these two functionality which is to set price and set color so we don't need to implement any other functionality right so this works out good for our cycle class as well now what if you want to create another class let's say airplane right so for airplane you will have to implement all these interfaces so not just vehicle and mobile you will implement from flyable as well and then you will include one more functionality which is fly into your airplane class so now this way we are not forcing any functionality into any class which is not needed into that class and that is the benefit of interface segregation your class won't need to implement any other functionality which is not needed for the class it only implements the functionality from our interface which is needed for our class.